Welcome to my channel. This is the um, first video that is going to feature me, Rosa Mei Mei. So you have to bear with me. I want to show everybody how I prepare chicken thigh. Uh, I normally buy uh, two packs of chicken every week and prepare them, freeze them, so during the week I don't have to prepare the meat again. So it's part of my meal prep of the of the week. I would like to share it with you. Chicken thigh, of course. You know the whole point is about chicken thigh. Thigh. Um, sea salt. I used to use um, olive oil, but I have switched back to sesame oil. It's more flavor. Can you see that now? It's uh, 124 calories. So it's not too bad. It matter, I guess. This is the soy sauce I normally use, only a little bit left, so I'm going to supplement that with some duck soy. Another thing I have been using lately is um, turmeric, turmeric powder. Um, it's supposed to have this um, anti-inflammatory quality for it um, in, the, in turmeric, so I just put a little bit in my cooking from time to time. Um, paprika, paprika. Who doesn't like a bit of paprika? Give it a smoky taste, and um, it's quite nice. You need, you need a big bowl to have all the to fold all the meat. I'm going to show you how to trim the meat in a bit. This is for later when we're cooking. Um, anyway, so I normally see this is what I mean. <clears throat> you don't really need to do much, but I just like to trim off as much fat as I can. Although it's tasty, but I'm trying to be healthy, right? So um, that is pretty much done. No, you still, you you are going to end up with a bit of fat from from the chicken thigh. That probably why the bodybuilders don't really like it. Like, you know what? I'm not a bodybuilder. I do CrossFit. Bit of seasoning, bit of salt, sea salt. I was just thinking that should we do the oil first or spice first? Well, you know what? I don't think that is going to make any difference. I'm going to do all the liquids first. I'm going to put the rest, whatever is left in this bottle. This is more for the liquid than anything else, really, because you don't want you want to give the the spice a bit of something to hold on to. You don't. So anyway, this is to taste, right? So because I like my meat to have a bit more um, heat, remember to. In, the base is the same, so you, know, you, you need some liquid, you need something dry to give it a bit of taste, and then all you have to do is to mix them, mix them up. So give it a nice even coat, a coating of all the ingredients, the oil. We might need to put a little bit more in because you can see very Chinese thing that you will find in supermarket over here in the UK nowadays that you didn't or I didn't used to find is grumpy woman. Lao <laughs> Gamma uh, because her her photo looks so good, she looks so grumpy so <laughs> we have been calling her grumpy woman. <laughs>
bring some oil into the pan. Okay. I put it on the scale. I learned this trick from another YouTuber. So as of now, you can see the the weight, including the bowl and all the chicken, is zero, right? So what you do is to scoop out, get the chicken out. So this one. As you can see, 152. So we'll do this again. Instead of putting into a bowl, and this time around, we're going to put everything into, we're going to put this portion into a bag and let it cool down completely before we put it into the freezer. We want to get as much air out as possible without spilling the juice. So I tend to just roll it, squeeze it a little, just be careful, don't have everything squeezed out, don't have the, com the juices come out, and then to seal it. <laughs> roll it once. Squeeze. Seal. Have we made? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is eight mil. Eight mils protein is done. Um, I tend to just keep them in the freezer while I eat them. I will just get them out, chuck them to the pan. Um, so you save yourself a lot of time during the week trying to prepare a fresh meal. It's easier this way. I find it easier this way. So, here we go. Ready to be freezed.